Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Paul Mason, and I am here speaking as a member of the Labour Party. And whether you're for our party or against, what I would like to say to you is what I'm the most proud of, of the things our party has done is to draw a line through every working class community in Britain for the last hundred years between progressive, decent, law-abiding people, people who show solidarity with each other and listen to their neighbours, and the fascists, and the racists, and the genocide supporters, and the Islamophobes, and the anti-Semites who are standing on the edge of this crowd trying to intimidate us. I tell you, just smile. Don't be intimidated. Because, to the friends over there, I want to say to you, I know how deeply you support Boris Johnson, because you're chanting his name alongside the fascist Tommy Robinson. You know how deeply would you support Boris Johnson. But we in this country, our grandfathers and grandmothers, fought for a way of resolving these disputes. It's over there. It is Parliament, and we are here to defend parliamentary democracy against... Against what? Because when the Nazis were rising in Germany, the German philosopher Hannah Arendt came up with a very profound label for what they were. What, what you are dealing with is an alliance of the elite and the mob, she said. Well, we can see the alliance of the elite and the mob at work in this, in this square. The elite in Scotland, in their hunting lodges and with their grouse shooting moors, with their hunter wellies on, that's the elite. The hedge fund managers, the people who support Farage, Bannon, Bannon, Boris Johnson, that's the elite. This is the mob. This is the mob. In the face of that, I'm sorry, there is only one solution to an alliance of the elite and the mob, and we understood it from the 1930s. It is a temporary alliance of the centre and the left. And as a left-winger, I'm here to tell you, let's form that. Let's show unity in defence of democracy. Let's make no mistake, this is no longer about Brexit. It's about whether or not this country becomes a colony of the United States and a puppet of Donald Trump on the world stage. If you don't want that, then you must face Europe, whether through a deal with Europe or through remaining inside Europe. That, I'm afraid, is the choice. And we have Parliament to make that choice. That's what Parliament did today. We are going to have to stay on the streets. We are going to have to stay united and calm and not rattled by these Nazis and racists and Muslim haters and Jew haters and anti-feminists. Let's stay, let's stay united around one goal. There should be no chance of a no deal. And the Prime Minister, not just the Prime Minister, but in the Treasury over there, in the Cabinet Office, anybody can, who can hear me in Port Collis House, civil servants have no duty to break the law. Indeed, they have a duty to obey the law. If Boris Johnson will not obey the law, no civil servant must obey him. Are we agreed? But it's not any longer just about the streets. I am a supporter of Jeremy Corbyn. I am a supporter of the Labour Party. But in order to build the alliance we need to defeat these people and to defeat the oligarchs and the Trump dark money and the billionaire money from America that stands behind Nigel Farage, I tell you, Jeremy, Joe Swinson, the rest of them, you haven't begun to understand the level of innovation, unity and fraternity we need because nothing of what we want is possible unless we defeat Johnson, defeat the coup and what is more, uphold the rule of law on the streets of Britain, in the Whitehall and here.